Hello, this is Sashi from Crafting with Sashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today. It's a really simple thank you card. I've heat embossed the sentiment as you can see there. You can see the shine on it. This is part of a colour challenge I participated in, and we had to use the colours Bermuda Bay, Mellow Mambo, and Basic Grey. So let me show you what I did. I have everything set up in my Stamper Artist, and the first time set I'm going to be using is this one called Ornate Thanks, and I'm going to be using the Thank You. So we're going to stamp in verse marking, but first I've just remembered we need to use my embossing buddy across the slot so that we don't get um, powder anywhere we don't want it. Okay, so we've inked that up and we're just going to stamp down. I'm just going to give it a good press to make sure I've got it all. Yeah, and I can see I do. So, I'll just move that over there. So we're going to add our silver embossing powder now. You can see I didn't get my sentiment very straight, but it's going to have to do the way I'm feeling at the moment. Ugh. I need to get that bit at least done. Okay. And we're going to put this back in here. Ugh. Everything is not going right this morning, I can tell you that. Everything that should be simple and easy is becoming a right pain and a beep beep. But we can sort this one out. Okay, so bring back this bit. And I'm going to heat emboss this in a second, but I've got another piece to emboss as well. So I'm going to do both bits together. It doesn't help my fingers are covered in powder and ink. And so I'm always scared of transferring something somewhere. So we don't need this bit. We need, this is our card base. This is a thick, basic wide card base. So that's an A, that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. And you can see the magnet is super strong. And we're going to use the stamp set here that says Happy Thoughts. And we're going to use this one that says the little things you do so often as do so well, make a difference to so many people. I actually was thinking of the guys at our local vaccination centre at the showground when I was doing this. I'm going to think I'm going to take one of these cards to them when I go for my second jab because I've had my first one. Because last week, no, was it last week? Week before last, um, I was one of those 1.7 million people who were suddenly added to the shielding list. Um, so then I got bumped up from group 6 to group 4 for my vaccination because I'm a type 1 diabetic. And so I got bumped up. And so I went then for my vaccination. So I've got my second appointment already for beginning of May. So I think I'll take one of these with me when I go in May to them. Okay, so let's take this out. This magnet is really strong. And just get that out of the way for now. Bring back the coffee filter and the embossing powder and hope that we've got something. Yes, and we do. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a bash from the back. Okay. away and now I'm just going to heat set everything and I'll be back. Okay everything is to heat set and it's nice and shiny now so let's get and do some sem assembling. So I have here my basic grey 
and this is my normal mat of 14.35 centimeters by 10 and I'm just going to stick this down to the front which is good making sure I did the right way up for some reason my embossing buddy has just let you know when I was doing the um, heat embossing it just went up in a cloud of what you call that a cloud of um, powder so I've got powder everywhere now hey ho and now the snail's gone and finished itself so okay so we've got new snail adhesive new refill and we're just going to plonk this piece down and you can see today everything is going wrong you can just see what I've done wrong again it's not my day but I'm leaving this in so you can see this happens to everyone I cut these a bit longer so that I knew I would get it the exact same cut and of course I forgot I did that so now I have to pull this up to cut off the excess because these strips I didn't cut to the exact right length in case maybe my other cutting wasn't bang on and we're going to have to do the same again now so let's just get this down and then we'll face the next problem <laughs> okay I'll have to pull it up again it's not the end of the world it's just a pain in the neck that's all there we go okay and now our sentiment is going to go on its own piece of basic grey and then we're going to be popping this up with dimensionals so I'm going to use my last bit that I do have here of edge and now I don't have to use normal ones. <laughs> As you can see, I've used all my edges before I've even finished the sheet. Because I really love the edges. I think they're just so useful for these large sentiments. I'm going to be extra generous, and that's more than enough. And now all these fiddly backings. seem to take forever and a year to come off and then go everywhere get rid of them okay and then we're just going to put this down in the center of our card like that and then finishing touches I'm going to use some of these holiday rhinestones here and there it's tone on tone and I've got my second packet here I didn't have enough of the one okay there you go there are the two cards what do you think I hope you like them if you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you want more information about this project supply list links to my online shop all that good stuff it'll be on the blog post on my website and the links to that and all my social media links including the links to my Facebook group where I host a monthly online car club are in the description box below so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye <laughs>